I'm thinking today of the mothers of Srebrenica and all of the other survivors whose husbands, brothers, and sons were murdered in the genocide 25 years ago. I think, too, of the victims, in particular the children, who were denied the chance to live and love and have families of their own. It is a loss beyond words. And I think of all the people of Bosnia-Herzegovina, that beautiful, heart-shaped country in the heart of Europe, which has given me so many dear friends and wonderful experiences, and which to me will always stand for strength and warmth and dignity. To the people of Bosnia, I send you my sympathy and my respect, and I grieve with you. I want to speak today to the young people in the region and beyond. You were not born when the Srebrenica massacre happened. You might wonder what it has to do with you. But the kind of hatred that led to Srebrenica exists still, as you well know. It lives on wherever people find excuses to single out others and deny them their rights as equal human beings. Srebrenica was a crime that did not happen overnight. It could have been prevented, even down to the last few hours. It started with prejudice and discrimination, with hate speech that demonized a whole people and treated them less than human. It was spread by leaders who used lies to manufacture fear, to condition people to accept violence. These tendencies still exist in our world and are as dangerous as they have ever been. Of course, not all hatred and discrimination leads to genocide, but all genocides begin with a failure to challenge these behaviors. Your generation can resist this. It already is. And that gives me hope. You do not need to be prisoners of the past. You can resist attempts to divide you from anybody else on the basis of their nationality or ethnicity or religion or the color of their skin. You can reject discrimination and hate speech and propaganda and lies. You can share a vision for a world built on equal rights, equal laws, respect for difference. A world in which the kind of murderous agenda that led to Srebrenica could not exist, would not succeed. That is the best way we can honor the families we remember today and the victims of persecution everywhere with whom we can be proud to stand.